Hello everyone, drum tech drummer and YouTube educator Kenny Sherritz coming to you from the studio of my fellow YouTube creator Brian Christopher Mendez with a full review and a set of tuning profiles for my lovely new Rogers Covington kit. Yes, Rogers is back y'all and back in a big way. Now when I was a kid uh, growing up, I absolutely loved Rogers drums. They sounded incredible, open, wide open, powerful sounds that resonated for days. Now back in the glory days, Rogers was known for hardware innovation, shell design innovation, and they were one of the driving forces of creating new drum products. It is that same spirit they have brought to this Rogers Covington kit, because not only do you have all the accoutrements of beauty, such as the beaver tail lugs, the toolless clock face floor tom brackets, the bow tie tension rods on the bass drum, and these awesome script logos. But they've also put all this love into their proprietary shell design. They take two millimeter plies of plywood and heat bend them, not steam bend, heat bend them in the proprietary molds and then age them in the air and air dry them out to give them that vintage modern sound. So you get a kit that sounds vintage, sounds powerful but can also apply in all modern situations, and I absolutely love it. And you're gonna to get to hear that as we go through some tuning profiles. Now, the shell itself I did wanna talk about because if you watch my YouTube channel, you know I love my Rogers Dinosonic snare drum. And that same five-ply maple poplar with re-ring shell design that they have on the snare that I love so much, they have applied to these toms and bass drum, and y'all, it has transferred beautifully. These are powerful drums with tons of sustain. I mean, tons of sustain for days. So again, I reiterate my excitement that to be sitting in a Rogers, a brand new Rogers kit that's been painstakingly recreated with love in this day and age, that looks like a Rogers, sounds like a Rogers, and to quote Willy Wonka, the snozberries, they taste like snozberries, y'all. This Rogers kit is killing. So let's check out some of the tuning profiles I set for this because this ain't just your dad's Rogers jazz kit anymore. Rogers was never really just a jazz drum. It had a full breath. And we're going to go through those tunings, starting with the jazz tuning that you heard at the beginning of this recording. All right, y'all, so let's take a look at the first tuning profile that I used on this beautiful Rogers Covington kit. A lot of people ask me on my YouTube channel, Kenny, how did these big band drummers back in the day get such a big sound out of their drums when their drums were tuned high with a lot of rebound and high tension? Like that. Well, I'm going to tell you one of the ways they did it was using Rogers drums, but another way was using an inverted tuning where the top head's tight, bottom head's loose. So on this drum, I flipped my favorite tuning for 12-inch drums. And I put a B flat on the top and an F in the bottom. Now over here on the slur tom, I took it down to an E flat and a B flat. So the bottom head is the tonic, top head is the perfect fourth above. And on the snare drum, I have an old school ratchet tight big band tuning with the perfect Dynasonic setting, with no muffling on this drum. Let's hear it for the Dynasonic and Rogers drums, y'all. So let's check this out. Bright, punchy, tight sounds, but with a lot of bottom end. Now for the bass drum, I had a little bit tighter back head, because that's how they got some attack back in the days, and had a little bit looser rezzo head. No muffling in the bass drum except for a couple of a head bass drum gels that help kind of allow me to have this big open sound. And absolutely no patch on the drum, just a felt beater, y'all. So let's go ahead and move on to another tuning that's right in the middle with a fat bottom snare and see just how many tones we can get out of this awesome Rogers Covington kick. All right, y'all, so let's check out the second tuning I put on this Rogers Covington kit. And this is more of like a rock and roll gospel chops kind of tuning, my kind of tuning for my kit. I went back to my trusty F to B flat on this tom and a C and F, F on the bottom of this tom. So perfect force on the tom, perfect for the part. Oh, <laughs> listen to the attack of that drum and the sustain. One more time. 
It's, it's still going, y'all. It's incredible, man. And then I took this snare drum down to a B and an F sharp, so it was kind of a middle-of-the-road, bottom kind of tuning with a little bit of crack to it. And then I went with a standard tuning where I basically just tuned this bass drum, the batter head, about as loose as it can go without it going flappy. And there's a whole step above, y'all. Still no hole in the head, just the head gels on top of this bass drum. So let's see what kind of tom sound we get out of this. <laughs> Oh my God, all the atone and attack for days. This is my first time to actually play them in a closed room, this tight little tight studio like this. And they are literally just punching me in the face with tone. So let's go ahead and check out the final tuning where I simply lower the bottom head of the toms a half step to where we get a major third going on in these drums for a warm, classic rock and country kind of tuning. Come on, y'all. Now this tuning takes most advantage of the beautiful 45 degree bearing edge cut in the inside with the rounded outside edge, which is a classic rock sound with the reinforcing rings. This is where I get my true rock juice out of drums like this. So I, all I did was take the bottom head down to an A, so where this is an F to an A and a major third, and I took the bottom head down to an E, to where we have a C and an E and a major third. And then for the snare drum, I just tuned her down to a C sharp, so we've gone an octave from where we started, so I got a nice C sharp, F sharp, perfect fourth on the snare drum, loosey goosey and fat. So let's see what we get, y'all. Wow, that was absolutely fabulous, y'all. I'm loving this tuning and I'm loving this Rogers Covington kit. It's giving me everything I hoped for, everything I wanted to be, and it's proving not to be just a one-trick pony that has the ability to give me all the sounds I need from, from modern big band and jazz to classic big band and jazz, from rock and gospel shops of today to rock and gospel music of back in the day. And most especially on the R&B recordings I get to do a lot of and the blues I get to do a lot of here in Austin, this kit is going to be killing it, y'all. So stick around while I play a little bit more and check out the tuning interval settings that I gave for you for all the tunings I did on this video, including drum dial settings and tune bot settings, y'all. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Watch more on my YouTube channel, YouTube. Kenny shares drum tuning, drum tech, drum programming, everything drum, y'all. Check it out. Like, share, and subscribe.